Okay, I want to give you guys a look at the cart motor where it's at right now. It's went through some major changes since the last video. Uh, capacitors now are, are built into this bank and I've set up a breakout board to allow me to wire it up differently. It is currently set up in uh, two banks. I have an A bank and a B bank of battery. There's six batteries, six 40, 46 and 44 amp hour batteries which add up to 276 amp hours per bank. So you have an A and B bank at 276 amp hours. It's currently running off of this inverter and the energy coming out of the inverter at 120 volts is converted to DC which is run into the cap box and then from the cap box it runs the pulse motor through the pulse motor out of the pulse motor into the charge circuit which is the other bank so the energy is now like a conventional Bedini where the energy comes from one bank of batteries and flows to the other bank of batteries now this added an enormous amount of complexity to the design and I could end up switching it back I think I want to use a isolation transformer and run off of one bank that would eliminate the switching and all the surplus connections you can see here, here's the relay system, which is not on it right now. I'm in the middle of working on it, so I've got a button here. So, you can see there are settings here where you have one bank, which is in charge. See, now one's in power and one's in charge. And then that's both charge and that's power and charge so these three settings should allow me to set the machine up in three different configurations just by switching it these magnets are facing this way the wheel is only one inch thick and there are 12 magnets um, they're double stacked so there are two two of these magnets that were on the original wheel um, that, and the magnets were facing this way uh, so the magnetic field strength's increased, but I've lost surface area by placing them this way. And some of my issues with the wheel are the wheel's only one inch thick. When I had a two inch thick wheel on here, um, it ran truer, is straighter. I'm having a real hard time keeping this one running straight. Uh, I think it has to do with how thin the wheel is. So. Some of the changes I'm making here is this will be doubled up. There, there'll be two inches, two inch wheel on here. I'll increase the weight of the wheel with double magnets and 18 uh, subsets of magnets on the wheel with the two inch. So I got to make some new uh, retainers for the magnets, and uh, that's kind of where that's at right now. The whole thing has been completely rewired. Everything's been moved around. So it's, it's quite a bit different than the original one. So it, the stuff takes time. And while the experiments for the amount of expediency, uh, I don't videotape all these experiments. I kind of give you a summary of what's happening. You guys are only probably privy to about five ten percent of what's actually happening so take that into account when I'm telling you these things these are from different experiments I'm running in order to come up with my uh, conclusions to make these changes so with that I'm going to run the wheel and give you a look at it running here okay that's the output of the generator so you can see the wheels driving uh, this, this small generator uh, with a pulse motor basically it's a sequential pulse motor and it's gaining in speed you can see it's now up to 10 volts so the 10 volts is currently going into the caps and being fed back into the system so that's the charge bank that's the source bank you can see that's the coming off of the pulse circuit 
Okay, so that's coming out of the, the, the pulse motor back into the battery bank. That's how many amps, 13, 14 amps, right? And uh, I've got to spray this. It's glossy, so it doesn't really work the way it should. So, 329. So, you can see it's still climbing. The ratio is uh, a little more than 2 to 1 right now. Which, you know, if you've seen some of the earlier videos, the mechanical advantage that you're getting by changing that to 2 to 1 means the wheels, the large wheel is able to run slower and the generator can run at a higher RPM and the large wheel is not going 1000 RPM so uh, it makes the material required for the large wheel doesn't have to run at 1000 RPM so it's a lot more the ability to, to use a, a like a birch or a MDF and not worry about it blowing apart is significantly better using running the wheel at a slower RPM. You can see it's up to 15 volts and it's almost 400 RPM. So, which means this generator is running at about 800 RPM. So, about putting 15 amps into the batteries, charge bank. 13.8 it has a little wobble in it and I've tried to get the wobble out and when I, once I get it out in a day or two it's back so I'm just not happy with the one inch thick wheel uh, the larger wheel never had a problem I balanced it and I uh, made sure it was true and it stayed that way and I'm not having that luck with this thinner wheel so, I'm going to have to switch it to a, a thicker wheel for sure. So, luckily it's only going four or five hundred RPM because I would never stand for that thing to be going eight or nine hundred RPM and have that kind of wobble in it. So, so that's kind of where it's at. Now you got to realize that, you know, because this is the only one experiments, 17, we're going to make changes, and, and as we make the changes, the improvements, uh, I'm going to document them for you, but I just can't document everything I'm doing. It just would take way too long, so, so this is uh, an update to the cart motor. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. Sign it out.